you have been on this job for less than 24 hours, and you have stabbed someone to death and shot someone to death. Penkin, you are a machine, sir. Good morning, everyone. I'm Dave from the Wee Hours, and we are back with This is the Police 2, and Barodka wants the day off for no readily explainable reason. I can't work today, I just can't, and I don't want anybody to be asking about it. So are we going to give him the day off? Well, under normal circumstances, I would say absolutely not, Barodka. Get your butt to work. This isn't that kind of party. However, he is well, half tired, so he's probably going to be pretty useless if he comes in anyway, so fine, Barodka, take the day off. Oh, Penkin, 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 Penkin. It's wonderful. Let's go catch some bad guys. Are you really coming to work, Penkin, or are you pretending to come to work? Are you really coming to work? Are we actually getting Penkin? Oh my god, we've actually got Penkin. That's amazing. It's He hasn't come to work all week. He has he's never come to work. This is his first day at work. And wow, Penkin, you are completely useless. You are the mostly useless. You should have just stayed away. Just go back to your band. Go go play in your band, whatever it is you were doing. I was barely paying attention. But yeah, go back there. You're completely useless. Wow, we have a pretty terrible team on board here. Meradian, Belmont, Penkin, Clayton, you're all broadly useless. All right, well, let's see what the day's going to bring here. Uh, stuff. Yeah, just auto-assign, please. Auto-assign it. Thank you. And we're back with the secret of the pink chewing gum. We've got to get some more clues in that. We've almost solved it, but we need a few more clues. Penkin, I don't suppose you're intelligent, are you? No, you're completely, utterly useless. You have actually no skill. I've never met a person who has exactly zero skills in everything. Everybody's good at something, Penkin, except you. Meradian, um, you have a point of intelligence. And Belmont, didn't we put you on this the last time? And you've got a point of intelligence. And you, oh, actually, Clayton, you're not bad at all. I mean, in terms of intelligence. You're, you're kind of not so great in other things, but... And you're only 140 professionalism. It won't kill us if you're not on side. Yeah, why don't, why don't you deal with this? You, you go look for pink chewing gum things. And do we have another open investigation? Yeah, we do. Mystery of the Black Box. Okay, this one is slightly more important. Actually, go back to... I'm going to take Clayton here. No, I, w I, want you to, I want you to go away. All right, you know what? Fine, deal with the pink chewing gum thing. I don't care that somebody stole a VCR. Let them have it. Let them have it. Can't even throw the things out in the trash. Oh, um, yeah, Moradian, you, you can deal with this because you are completely useless in everything else. Okay, that'll work. Now what do we got? Okay, uh, child abuse at the high school. What's going on here? Girl found a hedgehog and brought it to school in a bag. Why would you do that? Why would you do a silly thing like that? Her teacher tried to confiscate it. Girl swung the bag at him and hit his leg. Hedge hedgehog spines tore the teacher's trousers, grabbed a ruler, intends to teach the schoolgirl a lesson. And really, we need 315 professionalism to deal with this nonsense? Uh, Sheeny. Uh, actually, uh, oh, hold on. Come back out, Sheeny. That's probably, yeah, you're excellent at negotiation. Let's send Sheeny to that. Off you go. Oh, you're not going anywhere without backup. Oh, I can fire her. I really want to fire her, but she's really, really good at everything else. Um, okay, that's fine. You know what? I'll send Penkin with you. You can have Penkin. There's... Oh. Uh, we talked about it and we decided that we're not going anywhere. We'd rather just play cards. Really? Really? Sheeny, you're fired. Get out. Are you sure you want to get rid of this cop permanently? Yes, I am, actually. Yes, I am. I, oh, I won't be getting a free substitute, though. Oh. I hate all these police officers. This is the most useless police department in the world ever. Aranovich, would you please deal with this nonsense? Thank you. And take Penkin with you. He needs the experience. I'm going to fire you all. You know what? I'm just moving to a different town. This is the most messed up town. People are stealing VCRs. People are dropping their pants. Assault. Now that sounds more interesting. Woman was waiting for a long time for her order, finally couldn't take it anymore, and attacked the waitress with an empty tray. Ooh, okay. Let's send a sniper. 
can we just send the sniper? Because honestly, Deval the sniper is how I would like to deal with this town. And we need a, you know, fair bit of professional. Flower pots, you're kind of an all-star. You're good at everything, and I like you. Uh, can we round that out maybe with Belmont? No, not quite. Not quite. Let's take Belmont out and put Musica in. Yeah, okay, that looks good. And Deval, we may be doing some sniping here. I can see that happening. Okay, so we're at the child abuse case. Girl is carrying a bag with the hedgehog. She sees the officer. She rushes towards him. Take down the teacher with a swift baton strike, but we don't have a baton. Grab the hedgehog and hit the teacher with it or shield the girl. Uh, Ranovich, why don't you shield the girl? That sounds like a very normal, sensible, not insane thing to be doing. Girl hides behind the policeman. Teacher runs up and swings his big ruler at the cop. Oh, really? Really? I can stab the teacher with a knife. That's actually my only option. I don't have the required equipment to do anything else. I am stuck with stabbing the teacher. Because I don't have a baton and I don't have a shocker. I probably should have checked my equipment before I came out. Oh well, um, sure. Uh, Penkin, stab this guy. <laughs> I don't stab him. He died on the spot. The school girl and her hedgehog no longer have anything to fear. Well done, Penkin. You've been on work for about an hour and you've stabbed someone to death. Good job, Penkin. I, I'm not sure what to make of this game. <laughs> we just stabbed a guy for no real apparent... We stabbed a guy because we didn't have the equipment to do anything else. I guess I'm just glad he didn't drop his pants like everyone else in town. Penkin, good job. You actually gained some experience from murdering a guy. Good, good deal. Courthouse, girl came in for an interview and the court clerk demanded sex from her in exchange for a job. Uh, Penkin, I think I got another job for you. Penkin, uh, we may need some stabbing to be going on. Kurosawa, what are you good at? Not really much of anything. Shini's not going to go anywhere, clearly. Aranovich is tired. What do we need for this? 310? Uh, Kurosawa. And you know what? Take Penkin out in case we got to stab anyone. Off you go, kid. Oh, for God's sakes. For God's sakes. Kurosawa's not going to go out. He wants to play cards. Okay. Okay, Kurosawa. That's fine. That, that's totally fine. Rosencrantz can go with Penkin. Off you go. I'm, I'm going to fire the whole damn lot of them. Woman with a shaved head is strangling a waitress. Oh, Penkin. Where's Penkin for this? Where, where, I need Penkin on duty to stab somebody. Another food tray is lying on the wet floor. Okay, strike her with a baton, tackle her, or grab the tray and hit the woman. Oh, flower pots, you're kind of an all-rounder. Why don't you see if you can tackle her? That seems solid. Go ahead and do that. Takes the woman down. After she calms down, she shamefully says she didn't mean to harm the waitress. You were strangling her. That's clearly intent, but good job, Flower Pots. Flower Pots, I think all I need is you. I think we can, we can basically take care of this whole town with just you. Yeah, look at that. You leveled up. You know why? You deserve it, Flower Pots. You deserve it. Now, you're kind of getting maxed out in a lot of stuff here. Let's have you be slightly better at shooting. Slightly better at shooting. You got the lucky shot perk. If a policeman misses, he fires off another shot quickly with slightly lowered accuracy. Okay, cool. Oh, Musica, you actually you actually got slightly better at something. Good job. Oh, uh, what could we be putting your point into? How about negotiation? That always seems to come up a lot. For surrender, there's a chance the criminal will voluntarily lay down his arms. Okay, neat. Oh, and interrogation. Interrogates an arrested suspect. The location of criminals and active objects is highlighted for one turn. All right, well, you're not completely terrible now. Neat. Penkin, are you on site yet? Because we, need, we may need to be stabbing some people. I'm just saying, I found your calling, Penkin, and it's stabbing people with a knife for no apparent reason. Okay, harassment. Court clerk is aggressively grabbing the girl's hands and refuses to let go. This seems to happen a lot in this town. There seems to be a lot of um, creepiness. So Penkin and the sniper, I think, are going to be on duty a lot. Your negotiation skill, Rosencrantz, is meh. Can we shoot the clerk with a taser? We could restrain the clerk. Uh, you know what, Rosencrantz, your strength is pretty good. I bet you could restrain this guy. I bet that's a thing you could do. 
manages to overpower the clerk and arrest him. The girl is fine. Good job, team. And Penkin, look at that. You've been on duty for one day, and you've already got 30 experience points or 30 professionalism points. And Rosencrantz leveled up. Well, you know what? That strength came in super handy, but you don't have any skill in shooting. So let's just round you out with a, sh a point in shooting. That gives you interception spends his remaining actions and finishes his move during the opponent's move the cop can fire at the first okay so overwatch you're getting an overwatch move all right and the shooter perk cop gets a small bonus to accuracy and takes no penalty when shooting at an opponent in cover okie doke i don't suppose penkin leveled up did he no oh penkin what are we gonna do with you well we're probably gonna give you a knife and have you stab people apparently that's what we do in this town an assault case you say Young man and his girlfriend were trying to register a marriage without an appointment. When the office refused, the groom lost his temper and started attacking the office employees. Well, that's no good. Is anyone here going to come out on duty, or are we all going to play cards? That's what I would like to know. Kurosawa's not, Sheeny's not, Aranovich, you're really, really tired. You're really tired. You're probably not even going to come out on duty. Duvall, why are you so tired? You went out on one mission and didn't shoot anyone. You sat in the car. Why are you exhausted? I kind of just need to bring flower pots out on everything. Let's see if Aranovich can cope with this with maybe uh, Belmont. Uh, yeah, Belmont. Let's, let's see what we can do with that. Go ahead, guys. Head on out there. And Penkin and his team is back. Attempted murder. Elderly woman was frightened by a child with a revolver, which he's aiming at passers-by. No idea where a 10-year-old gets. This sounds like a false alarm. This sounds like a false alarm. Uh, what do we need? 490? A uh, Rosencrantz. I don't suppose you'd like to deal with this nonsense, would you? Oh, you would. Good. You don't want to sit at the station and play cards. I really appreciate you actually working for a living. Thank you. Okay. Grabbed an elderly registry officer by the hair, smashing her face on the table. Um... That's pretty hardcore. Oh, oh, where's Penkin? We can stab the guy. I'm sorry, we actually can't use this option. Penkin is not on this job. Uh, you really want to get married? Shoot the guy with a taser. Yeah, who can, who's, who's got a taser? Do you have a taser? Yeah. Aranovich, shoot him with a taser. I'm done messing around with the people in this town. We're not talking him down anymore. We're just stabbing and shooting. Stuns the suspect with a taser shot. Registry, registry office employee has a broken nose, but she'll live. And Aranovich is super tired. Apparently pulling out his taser and tasering someone is super, super tiring. But you got another point. Yeah, actually, let's, uh, well, you know what? Let's give you a point of shooting. I don't know if that affects tasers or not, but just in case it does, interception perk again, we just saw that. And the shooter perk, we just saw that. Okay, Aranovich and Belmont. Oh, you got to level up. Good for you, Belmont. Let's give you, ooh, I don't know. Yeah, point of strength. Why not? Battering ram. Policeman loudly breaks down the door or window. All right, Belmont. And knockout. Blows with the baton. Stun criminals much more. We should probably make sure you actually have a baton now that we've given you a point of strength. And what else were we heading out to? I don't know. Was that the attempted murder? Oh, the, the kid with the revolver. Right. That's going to be a false alarm. I kind of hope it isn't in a weird way. Bomb threat. Oh, hang on, hang on. Bomb threat. Okay. Okay. Do we need any specific amount of professionalism? No, we don't. All right. Well, the sniper's in. That's definite. Um, Penkin, just in case we need to stab somebody. Cops who dislike you will not obey your orders. Penkin? Penkin? Why do you, dis why do you dislike me? Why would you dislike me, Penkin? What, what's, pe oh, Duval doesn't like me. Really? Really? Why? I don't even, I don't even know what your problem is, Duval. Uh, flower pots, you got to get on side for this one. We cannot not have flower pots. Uh, Musica, why don't you come in? These two aren't going to go to work. Aranovich is super tired. All right, so what do we got? Pluto Vancura Warehouse claims the other guys got tires of always getting paid late and decided to arrange a strike. When the owner didn't bow to their demands, they escalated the situation. They're getting ready to blow up a stock of old sticks of dynamite. This sounds terrible. Uh, Belmont. You know what? Every, everything else can go to heck right now. Belmont. We're, we're getting everybody that we can afford to get out here, except apparently Duvall. 
Uh, disorderly conduct. What do we got? A naked old man. What is it with the elderly in this town? They are constantly, constantly exposing themselves. Why is there no good elder care facilities in this town? Obviously, we have a very serious sort of social and mental health problem in this town, and we're not, a, we're not attending to it. We're not dealing with it. We're just sending people out to stab other people. All right, he's trying to direct, direct ta traffic in the center of town with a whip. You know what? Let him. Let him. It's actually, that actually sounds really fun. He's stripped off his clothing. He's got a whip and he's trying to direct traffic. You know what? Live and let live. That actually sounds like a pretty good time. Um, I don't have the team to put together because Kurosawa, you're not coming out on duty. Let me just confirm that. Kurosawa, you're going to apparently stay in the station and play cards, right? Oh, no, you're going out this time. Well, thank you, Kurosawa. I appreciate you actually doing your job. Cops have arrived at the bomb threat. Okay, now we can actually finally see some of the turn-based combat that this game has to offer. Right, the only other side of the combat that this game has shown me was in the tutorial section, which was 100% handheld. I had no options. I was just being walked through an example of combat. So I have no idea why these three people are up here, but Pluto Vancura apparently knows where the bomb is in the warehouse. And Helena will show me how to get into the warehouse grounds. Now, what happens if I click on you people? Okay, you've got a thing to say. They think the explosion would, won't be powerful because the explosives are old. Don't get near the bomb. Stay as far away from it as you can. Old dynamite becomes unstable. Try to explain it to them. Going to have to look for a new job. If you arrest them, I'll probably get a promotion. So let me show you where the guys put the bomb. Although, on the other hand, maybe I shouldn't tell you. Oh, what is your problem? What, what is your deal? What if your cops go and blow themselves up? All right. If only I had some boots. The local pawn shops always give a good deal on them. I can eat canned soup for half a year before I die. What are you talking about? Why are you... Why is everyone in this town insane? All right. What happens if I say you don't have leather boots? I can't actually even say that. All right. Fine. Um, Helena, are you also insane? Are you talking about your dog? Pie can be a little aggressive. Doesn't like to do what he's told. He knows one thing. If we're going to get past the warehouse. He goes and visits the guys who guard the place. All right. You're, you're insane. You're not... I used to work as a cop. Yeah, I'm not surprised. That actually does not surprise me in the least, Helena, because you're nuts. And that's apparently the only people we hire in this town. In fact, it seems to be the only people in this town, Period. I'm not 100% sure we live in a town. We might live in sort of an open-air community mental institution. Canteen is full of tuna. Come on, give me some cans. Surely you can misplace a couple of them without raising a fuss. So you're going to give me information for cans of tuna. You are insane. All right, Dyson, I'm just going to assume you're insane, but let's just confirm that. Hands are shaking, got sweat pouring out. God knows I need a cigarette. Even back at the warehouse, it's all I could think about. All right, that's, I don't have any, I don't have anything that these people need. Where would I have acquired a can of tuna? Was there, a, was there, was there an inventory management thing I was supposed to be doing where I acquired tuna? Is there a vendor? And why would I think to buy tuna and keep it on me at all times? That does not make sense. All right, let's see what's going to happen here. Well, this explains why they're so generous with the perks, and I have not encountered this in this game before, is I guess you have to choose four perks before you hit the field. So these are all the perks that Flower Pots has, which is a voluminous amount of perks. Boy, she is really good at everything, but it looks like I only get to pick four before we go out. So let me set all these guys up with perks that, I don't know, may or may not be valuable. I don't obviously know what the combat situation is. And then we'll get going with this. Yeah, let me, uh, let me do a little thinking here. All right, I've divvied out everyone's perks and what I feel is broadly useful under all circumstances as best I could. So Belmont is getting Shooter for an accuracy bonus against Cover. Sentry so he can see farther. He'll be a little bit of a spotter. Burglar so he can get in and out silently if we need to. And Lucky Shot. And then Musica um, only had four perks. So that was really easy. He just gets all the perks he has. Now, Flower Pots, on the other hand, has negotiation. 
a policeman can contact criminals by radio and postpone the explosion of a bomb for several moves. So if this is indeed a real bomb, that may come in handy. I don't have my hopes up because everyone is insane and it's probably not a bomb. It's probably a naked old man because that's what this game seems to favor. But just in case it is a bomb, flower pots may be able to do something about this. Let's, um, let's maybe disarm a bomb, maybe not, maybe it's tuna, maybe it's naked old people, maybe it's insanity, defuse the bomb. Okay, here we go. Oh, Penkin, you're up first, really? Uh, what, why, why am I not in control of things? Are, are we setting ourselves up? Okay, there we go, now I'm in control of things. That's fine. Um, let's see what we're gonna do, and who do we have? We have flower pots, all right. 13 turns to defuse the bomb or neutralize all suspects. And I don't see any suspects on the map except who are you? It's a suspect. Okay, so I do see a suspect on the map. That's fine. Um, that's Penkin. Now, if I bring your first move to here, can I just start shooting people? Can I, can I just completely start shooting people? You go up here and you... What, what do you think you can do with this guy? You can shoot him. Okay. You can... Yes, give me the perks. Force surrender. Chance the criminal will voluntarily lay down his arms. Pretty good. Pretty good. Interrogation. We're not there. So pretty much the only option we have in our perks is force surrender. I wonder if that's handled by distance, too. Because we're basically going to be shouting at this guy to try and get him to surrender. Uh, you know what? Flower pots, can we can we come back to you? We'll come back to you in a second. Let me just uh, get 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 all out of here. Yeah, get all out of here. Let me now. Do I have to finish flower pots move before I move on to someone else? No. Belmont can take his first move. Okay. Very very ex Um, I don't. Why don't you come up to here, and then we will move. No no no. Give me, uh, what's his name here? Musica. Musica, why don't you come behind this car? You're kind of terrible, so let's have you hang out there. Now, back to flower pots. Can I, what are the chances I can get this guy to force surrender? I mean, I could just shoot him. There's no problem with that. And frankly, given the state of insanity in this town, it's probably for the best. But let's just try out force surrender. Let's see what happens. Nope, he wasn't falling for that one. Or or was he? Why does he have an exclamation point over his head? He can't possibly have just noticed us. That that just can't be right. Okay, um you can stay there and you no, sorry, your flower pots. I actually want Belmont to come up here. Yeah, come up here. Oh, there's another guy. Okay. I think your spotter perk just kicked in there. That's fine. Um Okay, end the turn. That's, that's about all I'm going to be able to do there. So they get a turn. Obviously, they're alerted because I just yelled at them. I don't know why they didn't spot me before this. Oh, they're going to get all shooty. That's not very nice. Oh, they, um, I think they killed Belmont. Belmont's down, I think. Um, okay, people are, people are getting shot. Well, we're not going to play nice anymore. That's for sure. We're, we're just going to kill you. Oh, did, do you have a perk where you're returning fire? Because I'm not doing that. Okay, who were you? Penkin! Penkin, you're an animal! You have been on this job for less than 24 hours, and you have stabbed someone to death and shot someone to death. Penkin, you are a machine, sir. I am very impressed with Penkin. You know what? You take all the time off you need, Penkin. Because whenever you come back, death happens. All right, Belmont. Um, why don't you get... Can you get, like, a revenge shot here? Sure. Shoot this guy. Yeah, go... Just go for a basic body shot. That's fine. Are you, are you going to make that shot? Um, I... Oh, yeah, okay. You, you've taken him down. Now, does he get up again? I don't know the answer to that question. I don't know. Penkin's, uh, sorry, Belmont's kind of hurting, though. Penkin, Penkin, now that you've killed another man, now that you are just an instrument of death walking through the world, why don't we get a, 
flower pots to come up and, I don't know, do something. Uh, don't go that way because you're going to have to walk all the way around that fence. In fact, how do we get in here? I guess, okay, in and out of this building seems to be the answer to that question. All right. Go see what's going on up there, Flower Pot. See if there's anyone in that building. And you, Musica, uh, not really a heck of a lot for you to do. So why don't you just come up here? Is Belmont dying? And how much do I care about that? Because I really, at this point, I only care about Flower Pots and Fenkin. Because Fenkin is a machine. Reload already? Or Stun Grenade. Ooh, stun grenade. Yay. I, I think we broadly covered those two, though. I mean, one's definitely dead, and one ain't getting up anytime soon, is my opinion. So, um, yeah, no, we're, we're not going to worry about those guys. Now, what, what if anything, are these guys going to do? He's down on the ground. Oh, here comes another person. Uh, Penkin, I got a job for you. Penkin. Give me Penkin. Penkin's a machine. Penkin is an agent of death. Pe I am not even doing that. Penkin is just randomly shooting people without my control. I had no control. Penkin is just off in his own world. That You know what? That's great, Penkin. You just stay right there. Right there. Um, can I come up and knock you out? Is that a thing I can do? I can uh, Force surrender didn't work so well the last time. Uh, go No, go back. Go back. How about if we uh, come up here, and I'm not even sure you have a baton, do you? Oh, you do. Oh, excellent. Or I could taser you. Shocker. No, you're actually, you've got some strength. Go ahead and knock this guy out. There we go. Did, did we solve his problem? Um, kind of? Kind of? We'll, we'll see if we can arrest him. Or we'll just send Penkin in. Because Penkin solves all my problems in this town. Uh, yeah, your Belmont's just... Should I be doing something with you, Belmont? Yeah, don't do not do the stun grenade. I mean, I guess you could reload. Uh, you can pick up things and put down things and interact with things. But you're just kind of stuck there, aren't you? Being being all woundy. All right, can I can I do anything with Penkin? Penkin is, is legit just standing right there by Belmont. Maybe he's guarding Belmont. I'm not 100% sure how this works. Is is anyone else going to come up and annoy Penkin? Yeah, actually, this guy. Well, you know what? Penkin's probably going to handle that. I'm pretty sure Penkin's... Oh, oh, there's lots of people out here. Um, Oh, dear. Flower Pots is dead. That That's no good. That's that's not good. Um, Okay, Penkin's charging off. I am doing none of this. I am not in control of Penkin. He's just on a murder spree. Uh, I don't suppose you have a stun grenade, do you? Oh, yeah, you do. Cool. Uh, can you put that somewhere? Like, I don't know, there? Put that, put that over there. See what happens. Well, they seem very stunned. Neat. Flower Pots is dead, but we got those two guys down. So, you know, why don't you come over here and do a thing? Oh dear, there's somebody else who's probably gonna shoot that guy. There's lots of people here. Lots of people. Um, Penkin, am I in control of you? No, I'm, I'm just simply not in control of Penkin anymore. Penkin's on a murder spree, and um, Flower, Flower Pots is dead, and Belmont is down. The, the bomb defusal thing has not gone quite as well as I might have imagined. You're going to charge up and probably get killed by Penkin. Because I'm telling you right now, Penkin ain't playing. You, you, can, you can charge up on him all you want. He will just flat out stab you in the neck. You're going to come up here... Okay, that, that's all valuable stuff, but the, the cop inside this building, who is that, Musica? Uh, yep, Penkin's just shooting people. Penkin's off on his own trip right now. And actually, not your best move there, Penkin. Not your best move. Uh, are you active? You are active, yeah. Musica. No, 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 go back, go back. Is there anything you can do with this guy? Yeah, shoot him in the face. Just go ahead and shoot him. No, can we get a headshot, please? Yeah, get a headshot on him. I'm not playing around with this. Yep, you're dead. I uh, still got one more person out there. That That's no good. Why don't you get out of the room at least? Make them come to you. I, I have a feeling the bomb's going to blow up. I, I don't think we're dealing with the bomb issue at this point. Oh, that guy's back up and running, and so are those guys. That's less good. That's That's not as fun. All three of them are back up. 
probably should have arrested them, but, you know, I was busy, and I'm not in charge of Penkin anymore, and um, Belmont's actually dead now, not just sort of dead. Penkin's off on his own trip. This guy's dead. This is, this is, this has been a less successful mission than I would like, and I am fully, I don't even have my hand on the keyboard anymore. Penkin's off doing his own thing. He's just doing his thing. I have no control over this. Oh, Penkin, how long are you going to live? You have been on the job less than a day, and you're going to die in a firefight. But you know what? You're going out You're going out swinging, Penkin, and I like that about you. Oh, you've actually been shot now. It's, it's just sort of like watching a short movie of the life of Penkin. This, this is what I'm doing right now. Uh, yep, you're getting all shooty. And you're shooty again. Penkin, do you want to return fire? Or maybe you're out of ammo or something. Lord knows you've shot enough people today. Oh yeah, Penkin's down. Not our shining moment. Bomb's probably going to go off. All my cops are dead. Well, we failed miserably there. We arrested no one. Everyone is dead. All of my cops are dead, including Flower Pots, who is pretty much the only competent police officer I have on this team. But, on the plus side... Penkin got four kills in, plus the guy that he stabbed earlier. So way to go out and style Penkin on a murder spree. I think you actually might just be a serial killer. Yeah, all these all these things are going to uh, all these things are going to fail miserably because we have no more police. There are no more police officers here. Disorderly conduct. Okay, Kurosawa, just shoot somebody. Oh, it's the, it's the Pyros thing again. Forest Spirit of Insanity. It's the naked guy with the whip. Um, is there an option where we can just sort of join in? Kurosawa, Aranovich, you want to just get in on this? I don't know. How about we, I don't know, turn on the siren? That, that seems sensible. Okay. Regulators are here. The old man seems delighted by the sound of the siren. Take out the offender with the sniper. We don't have our sniper because apparently he doesn't like me. Apparently he doesn't like me. Grab the old man's leg. That's probably not going to end well, but Kurosawa, you're up. Uh, it's a bad idea. I won't do it. Aranovich, will you do that? Yay! Fell from the roof from the patrol car onto the asphalt. Criminal dropped his whip and became easy prey for the police. That's good. Aranovich and Kurosawa, you're pretty much the only cops left. I'm just saying. You're pretty much the only police I've got left. Um, are we doing something with the pink chewing gum found no new clues clayton you found no new clues okay how about the black box no new clues Moradian found no new clues you're all terrible people and we have funerals for all of benedict belmont is dead organize a ceremony let the morgue sort it out uh musica let the morgue sort it out pankin however Penkin, my serial killer cop, my, my spree murdering cop, you're getting a ceremony. 100 bucks for you, absolutely. Flower pots, oh, what do we got? Attempted murder, child was playing bandit with a toy gun. Yeah, we. I kind of thought that was going to be a bit of a false positive there. And flower pots, you can also have a ceremony because you were my only competent police officer. What do we got going on here? Yeah, I, I desperately think we need to end the day. I think this was not... Not our best day. Well, we, we were doing really well on the beer tab thing until, you know, they mentioned the fact that a bunch of our cops got killed and we failed a tactical mission. And they took a lot of beer tabs away for that. It wasn't that good. Um, we only have 15 beer tabs. We can only afford some terror. Actually, McGuire, you're pretty decent. Yeah, you're hired. Uh, we don't have a good history here, McGuire. We, we really, I just got four people killed. Unless you're like Penkin, you're probably doomed. So yeah, we'll, we'll go ahead and hire him. Why not? Why not? What's the worst that can happen? He'll die in a hail of bullets. Do I actually have any police left? Clemsy? Oh yeah, Clemsy, you're out injured. Right, right. Eh, I have a few. Spurlock, you're a pain in my neck. You never want to come to work, but we'll give it a shot. Absolutely. You, 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 you two are definitely not coming to work. You're way too tired. Let's see if I can get Curacao. Yeah, okay. Not going to work every day. Not surprised by that. Baradka. Okay, Sheeny. I, I think we're firing Sheeny. 
if Sheeny pulls this nonsense again, we're firing Sheeny. McGuire, I just hired you. Why are you already tired? You're already tired. I bet Rosencrantz isn't coming in either. Oh, he is. Okay. Well, he might. We'll see. We'll see tomorrow. Great. I got six cops. You know what? I'm, I'm putting them on. Okay. Yeah. You're not going to come into work. Maradian might come into work. Maybe. We'll see. Yeah. Okay. Well, Clemsey came back in. That's in the win column. Uh, Rosencrantz, it's the funeral for Vanessa Flowerpots. I want to go honor the memory of a good cop. She was a good cop, Rosencrantz. You're right. Could you let me go for a couple of hours? You know what? If it was anyone but Flowerpots, I'd say no. And I still want to say no because you have 510 professionalism and you have basically pretty decent skills in everything in that you have at least skill in everything. But... All right, go ahead and go to Flower... You're all going to go to Flower Pot's funeral. McGuire, I just hired you. You didn't even know Flower Pot's. You didn't know her like I did. You weren't here, McGuire. I knew Flower Pot's. You didn't know Flower Pot's. No, you're not going anywhere. Uh, Sullivan, no. no nobody, is, nobody is leaving work. Nobody else is leaving work. I have, like, two people here who are vaguely competent. I... All right. Well, let's let's call it on this is a police too uh for this. Here's here's my thing. Um I really enjoy the gameplay of of this is the police too. Although I rant and rave that the gameplay is basically fun. Although seeing the combat, the combat is obviously going to take a lot more getting used to. It's not just charge in. I, and I'm not even 100% sure how that combat was working. I'd have to play around with that a lot more, but there may not be enough of it to get decent practice at it. The day-to-day -day stuff, the time management stuff and sending the cops in has a lot of good comedy value to be sure. But is those are those two things together keeping me engaged through the story? And let's just remind everyone, I am editing out all the cutscenes because the cutscenes are very, very long. And there's a story in there somewhere. There's a story that I am completely missing because I am rapid clicking through all of the cutscenes because the story is not interesting enough to keep me engaged. And that's just a personal opinion. There are plenty of people who I'm sure are deeply into the story about this, but I'm not. So really, I'm kind of just down to the day-to-day -day -day gameplay and time management. And in four episodes, we've seen one instance of the tactical turn-based combat, which is kind of what I tuned into this game for. So unless there is an outpouring of demand to keep playing This is the Police 2, and if there is, please let me know in the comments. If you are like, no, no, please keep, please keep playing this. We would absolutely love to watch you keep playing this. I will. I absolutely will. The, the comedy alone is worth it. There's some really good, well-done comedy in here. As much as I bust on this game, there's some good hit, good comedy here. So I do appreciate that. But unless there is that outpouring of demand to say, please, please, please keep playing This is the Police 2, I'm probably going to call it on this game for now. Uh, we'll do kind of a little mini-series is what we've done here, and certainly given folks a broad view of the game, if it's something you're interested in, at least you have an idea of what you'll be getting into. Um, just a quick tip, Pankin is an animal. Pankin is insane. He killed four people on his first day of work. So again, I think uh, I'm going to call it on this as a police too. I think I'll probably just make this a little bit of a mini series and we'll end it here so I can move on to some other games. But if you do want to see more of it, do not be afraid to say that in the comments. I would love to hear from you. I know actually quite a few people have commented on this as the police too. So it is at least a game that has attracted attention. If you love it, let me know. I'll keep playing it. If you're kind of eh, like I am, then we'll just call it here. But until then, I'm Dave. Thank you, as always, for joining me in the wee hours, and we'll see you next time.